Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and today I'm going to share with you my top 5 Mac applications that I use daily and the best part of it is these are free. Jump cut. This is basically a multi-level clipboard. For example, let's say we have these two sentences. Let's say we want to copy this first sentence. We do that by using command C. It's copied in a clipboard. Great, fine. I paste it here. Now let's say I've copied the second sentence. This will be naturally in your clipboard. What happens to the first message that we wanted, that we had in the clipboard? It's not there, but using jump cut, we can get that. As you can see, it's there here in our clipboard. Basically, we can set the number of clipboards jump cut should store in the preference tab. I have set it to 10. And the best part is this utility is completely free. The second utility that I use a lot is known as drop copy. This will be useful if you have multiple Macs in your office or your home. What this does is, as you can see, it adds this small circular image on your desktop. What it does is basically, let's say we want to transfer this file uh, to another Mac. For example, right now, uh, my other Mac is the MacBook Air, which also has a copy of drop copy. I just drag this file and just leave it. That's it. The file has been sent to my MacBook Air. It's that simple. The best thing about drop copy is that there is no need to set up anything or configure anything. It does everything on its own. The first time I used it, I was so amazed that I did not have to touch any network settings and it figured out everything automatically. I use this utility on a daily basis. Drop copy is not a freeware application, but for home usage, for up to three Macs, it is free and you can download it via the app store or from the link given above. The third application that I use a lot is known as shades. Basically, this allows me to basically control the brightness that I want. Uh, right now, my iMac is really bright. I don't like it. Uh, as you can see, it's, it's on the zero brightness. Still, I don't like it. Using this utility, I can further go down. Shades is completely free and you can download it via the link given on the screen. The fourth application that I'm going to show you is known as Alfred. It's basically a quick launcher and it's free. Let me launch an application. Let's say Firefox. It's basically a replacement to Quicksilver that I was using or even to our uh, Spotlight Finder. I find this really uh, useful. I can't explain it how useful it is. It's only when you start using Alfred, you can appreciate the advantages that it has. It's a really great launcher and it's really fast. It's better than the built-in spotlight that the Mac OS X offers. You can download Alfred for free from the Mac App Store or from the link given on the screen. The fifth utility is known as Onyx. This is basically a system maintenance tool. Uh, I use this once in about a month or two to basically clean up my Mac and this makes my Mac a bit faster. It has a lot of options in it, so I would suggest that you just go over the options. It can clean up a lot of things, but it takes time, about 5 to 10 minutes to do all the cleanups. You can also use the automation part to get everything done. I like the parameters option. Using this, you can change a lot of under the hood options in your Mac. There are a lot of options that you can do with it. For example, the default clipboard option for the Mac saves the image in the PNG format. You can change it to JPEG. You can change where the images are stored by default. I suggest you take some time and give a look at all the options that are offered by Onyx. There are a ton of options. 
Onyx is also completely free and you can download it via the link given on the screen. The last utility, this is a bonus, this is the sixth one that I use is known as caffeine. Do you notice this small coffee cup over here? This says that caffeine is off. If I just click it on it, uh, the coffee gets filled up and caffeine is on. What this does is basically nothing but doesn't allow our Mac to go to sleep. For example, I have set my uh, sleep for my Mac for about just 10 minutes. But when I'm watching some videos or uh, movies or etc, I don't want my Mac to go to sleep. This utility prevents that. You just click on it and basically it won't allow your Mac to go to sleep. Switching it off is also easy. Just click it and it's off. These are the five utilities basically I use on a daily basis apart from caffeine. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If you think this video was helpful, please give a thumbs up or a like. And you can also subscribe to my channel so that you'll be notified automatically when I add a new video. Also, if you know some good freeware Mac apps, please share it with me using the comment section below. This is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and I'm going to see you hopefully in another video. Bye for now.